So something mysterious happening on the edges of our solar system. I've been taking pictures of planets for a while. So this is actually close to what I do. I'm looking at, I know we have only eight planets. There is a possibility that we are very close to finding the ninth planet and taking pictures of ninth planet. Since our childhood days, we learned about Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. So these bigger planets and the gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn, and lately we found Uranus as well. These objects orbit around the sun in a gravitational dance. So when we look at the orbit of Uranus, we found something is pulling that back. So when we started calculating the gravity pull on the Uranus, we found that there could be a possibility of another planet beyond Uranus. And we found Neptune. And when we pointed our telescopes, we found actually the planet itself. So same thing happened when we were looking for the orbit of Neptune and the gravitational pull, we found Pluto the same way. So everyone is after this finding the planet scenario, but unfortunately, rather than increasing the number of planets, they brought the status of Pluto down to a dwarf planet, so we are back to eight. So we are looking for our planet nine, not because we need one, because something is not adding up. Beyond Neptune, there is an area called Kuiper Belt. These are large bodies, like icy bodies. There are so many of them. It's a huge area where those icy bodies are orbiting around the sun. And some of these objects are bigger than the Pluto. So we found several big objects and we actually have names for these big objects. These objects are called TNOs. They are trans-Neptunian objects. And the ones that are further out, they are also called extreme TNOs. But anyway, coming back to these TNOs, they should have been thrown out back into or outside the solar system. Outside our solar system, beyond Pluto, we have another belt called Oort Cloud. And some of these objects that Neptune didn't like, they get pushed out from the solar system and they go into Oort Cloud or they go outside our solar system. So Neptune is like a security guard. It won't let anything come in. Some of these TNOs, the trans-Neptunian objects, they keep coming back and they're also maintaining the orbits. So then that orbits are an impossible task without something keeping them. So the theory that was proposed by Constantine and Mike Brown, these are the two scientists that proposed an idea back in 2016, they wrote a paper saying that there could be a ninth planet out there. And ever since that point, we have a lot more data coming in. Now we know the orbit of, or a possible orbit of planet nine. So it might take anywhere between 10,000 to 20,000 years to circle around the sun. So that may be the reason why we didn't see it yet. And it must be really big. It may be anywhere between five to 10 times the size of Earth. It's not going to be gassy. It needs to have some dense and weight to it. So it must be rocky, icy, solid body. That's good. Like five times size of Earth or more. There is another speculative theory out there that this may not be planet nine. This may be a primordial black hole. That's a very interesting theory. It's a bit speculative, but there could be a possibility that that, that is a 
primordial black hole that is really dark no one can see it not active even though it is small it is dense and it is powerful and do what it what the big planet is doing or even more if it is a primordial black hole that changes the entire equation and it will be more exciting and exotic but for now we are looking for planet 9 and we did so many sky surveys since 2016 and we did not complete that search because we don't have the technology to look at this faint object that is out there somewhere we don't know the location of planet 9 on this big long period orbit to do that now we have vera rubin observatory up online so we might be able to find that we are taking data that in days that hubble used to take in almost years so what used to take a month now it is taking a day so we should be able to get quite a lot of data and chances are within the next year or two i'm going to keep track the data that is coming in on planet 9 and i'll let you know we might be able to take pictures of this planet pretty quickly uh, and also i mean not with our telescopes Uh, with vera rubin telescopes or any other powerful ones because it does need a giant telescope to take pictures i'll show you the live views of every planet that i had taken except the earth and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do uh, click on the like button and the notifications button I think some of them left unsaid. That's Mercury lying. I view of Venus of Mars Actually I have a much better picture than that I took pictures during Mars conjunction that time actually the pictures were not better I'll show you sometime Jupiter is easy to capture. comes out very clearly so
the Saturn looks different every year. But it's on our viewpoint. So this is Uranus. 18 astronomical units from Sun. 18 times distance from Earth to Sun. Mind-boggling distances. So that's Pluto. I don't think we need to take just a few of seems to be the dwarf. So now we have all the eight planets. I said it was seven, but Pluto is a dwarf planet. So please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so and uh, click on the like button and subscribe button. Uh, please do join as a member if you can. I'll see you later in the next videos. Thank you.